In this Bezzy 101 video, we'll be exploring a feature that helps 3D designers boost their efficiency, frames. Frames in Bezzy are not just regular groups. They are dynamic containers that take the familiar 2D frame design workflow and bring them into the third dimension. In this video, we'll look at what you can do with frames, how to use them, and how it helps you create interactive 3D designs faster. First, let's take a look at a few examples of what you can do using frames. Objects such as furniture nested within a frame can be constrained to any of the frame's faces, like walls in a room. Objects nested within a frame can be clipped by its parent frame. Nested objects within a frame can be aligned and distributed based on that frame's boundaries. Frames allows you to apply changes to all objects within it simultaneously as they follow the frame's states. Now that we have a good idea of what we can do with frames in Bezzy, let's create our first frame. In the top menu, click the frame icon and place it into your scene. This will create an empty frame. You can also select a number of objects within your scene and when you use the frames menu button, it creates a frame around your objects. Alternatively, you can create frames by right clicking on selected objects using the command center or by using the shortcut Option Command G on Mac or Control Alt G on PC. Enabling clipping in the properties menu allows you to limit the visibility of objects or parts of an object within the frame's boundary. For example, masking out user interface elements or focusing on a section of a wider 3D experience. With caps enabled, it will render a solid color on a frame's nested objects where the frame's boundary and its nested objects intersect. Additional cap properties allows you to change the cap's color. Quick tip, if you need to have different cap colors, you can do so by nesting your selected objects within its own frame. One of the next features of frames is constraints. These are rules on how nested objects behave when their parent frame changes. To create a constraint, select the nested object within the frame. With that object selected, its properties surface in the properties panel. Click the plus button to add a constraint. Conversely, you can remove a constraint by pressing the minus button. By default, constraints are set to left on the X axis, bottom on Y, and back on Z. If you want to change the constraint setting, you can do so by using the properties drop down menu. To help you understand what each setting does, as you highlight a setting, visual indicators will appear in your canvas. After setting up your constraints, Try it out by changing the size of the frame. Going deeper into constraints is multi-face constraints indicated as left-right on the x-axis with the other axes corresponding to their sides. These properties allow you to scale objects such as parametric primitive boxes within a frame according to the size of the parent frame. The nested objects scale based on its actual size, not its transform size. This means that you can have properties like rounded edges on a box that don't change size when the box is scaled. Note, we recommend that you experiment with different object types with the multi-phase constraints feature as they all react differently. Another core advantage of using frames in Bezzy is arranging objects within it. When a number of objects are selected within a frame, additional properties or modes allow you to choose how you wish to arrange those objects within the boundaries of their parent frame. Frame mode respects boundaries, whereas selected objects mode will ignore the frame and distribute relative to each other. The align and distribute tool within frames works quite similarly to how Bezzy normally handles them outside of a frame. If you wish to learn more about alignment and distribution, we have a video that goes deeper into that in Bezzy 101. Something to note, you can align and distribute nested objects within different frames at the same time. However, they will always respect their own parent frame. The state machine is one of Bezzy's most powerful features, especially when combined with frames. Together, they let 3D interaction designers create complex, interactive projects more efficiently. But that's not all. Frames allow you to create layered interactions directly from the parent frame. Usually, when creating layered interactions in Bezzy, you would need to create states for any nested objects within a group. Without a frame, you will need to move each object individually but with stateful frames, you can make multiple adjustments at once on a frame-based level, speeding up your design process. To illustrate, here are two interactions side by side, one using stateful frames and the other without. 
To learn more about the state machine, we'll be going into it in more detail later in Bezi 101. Frames allow 3D interaction designers the ability to create faster and more confidently using powerful features such as clipping, constraints, alignment, and distribution within a frame, and parent-level complex state interactions. Stay tuned, as later in the Bezi 101 series, we'll be going in-depth into interaction design with the state machine. We'll see you there.